Hello everybody. Um, I've not posted in a while and it's because I've been really busy lately and I've had other stuff to do and I know it's only quick to make these videos but you know I just I couldn't be bothered really but um, I'm gonna start doing a few more again I think now because people were watching and people were commenting so I might as well but no, I was having a bit of a break from it. It's just nice sometimes to refurb a vacuum and not record any of it. Just get on and do it, you see. <laughs> so that's what I was doing. But um, no, that's changing today. We'll do a video on this one. So if I can remember off by heart, this is a Hoover Turbo Power U2060. Um, this is one of the last ever Turbo Powers ever made. It's from 2003, which is... The last year they were sold. I'm sure there was probably a few still new in the box in 2004 and maybe 2005. But Hoover officially discontinued this model in 2003. And 2003 was the last year it appeared in the Argos catalogue. But um, somebody asked me a while back, or was it on Vacuum Land? I can't remember. Anyway, somebody asked the question, have you ever seen a vacuum cleaner blow the bag door off? Because the bag's that full. And I commented and thought, no, I've never seen that before. I've been repairing vacuums for years and I've never seen that happen. Um, but that's going to change today, which is why I thought I'd do this vacuum. Because it's, it's a bit unique, really, in what it does. Um, the, the bag system's quite interesting, really. It's not a paper bag. It's, do you know what? We'll leave it as a surprise. I'll show you what's been done. But anyway, there's that much pressure building up in the bag compartment that when you switch this vacuum on it blows the bag door right open and if it doesn't blow it open straight away as soon as you start using it whilst you actually recline it it shoots open then and I thought it was hilarious I had quite a shock the first time it done it really I plugged it in for the first time and then the door flew open I thought good god so yeah enough rambling I'll show you around the machine when I've showed you this because I think this is absolutely hilarious. So as soon as you plug it in, this happens. See if we can zoom in. Here we are. You ready? Now, do you know what that is? <laughs> Obviously somebody didn't feel like buying bags for this, not even pattern copy bags. And they certainly didn't feel like buying the genuine H4 bags. <laughs> so, that actually, if you look, I don't really want that on my lovely carpet, so I'll put it on here. How you'd empty it. Oh my God, it's got a bag slide on it. <laughs> That's somebody's jean off a pair of jeans. That's one of the legs. Um, and it's been sewed shut. And they've obviously, they've had a bag at some point and they've ripped the collar off and they've fashioned their own collar. Do you know what? It's quite a snug fit as well. It's, you know, I've seen some funny attempts at making bags over the years. I've seen socks wrapped around the fill tube, T-shirts. With the um, arm and neck hole stitched shut, wrapped round the filled tubes. I've never seen such a fashionable way of doing it, though. <laughs> I'm not going to take that slide off. I'll keep the slide, though. It's a good slide. It's an actual bag slide. And you know what? It's been picking up. There's a bit of muck in there. But the suction was absolutely awful on that. I know they don't have very good suction anyway. But, well, through the hose. But it really was bad with that. I mean, that's going to clog up in no time. Um, the airflow was that bad that the bag was just, well, the jean was just ballooning open. And obviously there was that much pressure building. That's why it kept forcing um, the bag door open. So, yeah, I mean, that's where there should be a bag full indicator there. God, my finger keeps going in the way. Sorry about that. There should be a bag full indicator there, but it's blanked off, obviously, because this is a cheap model. I wanted it for the colour, really, because I love the red. Um, 
And if it actually did have a bag full light, I'm sure even that would have been coming on with the way that was in there. Um, yeah, so that's shut properly now. Well, it was shut properly before, but now when I turn it on, that should stay shut. So we'll have another, oh, it's on here, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing wrong there. That is all fine. Um, I've had this now, I think I've had it over a year. Still got the Royal Warrant on. I think that was removed in 2009 or sometime like that. Still got it on this 03 model. I nearly called it an 03 plate then, good God. Right, um, what else can I show you? Oh yeah, the reason I had it for over a year and didn't do anything with it is because the base plate is smashed. It's got a good brush roll on it, and that's fine. I think I even put a new belt on it, but there's nothing left of the base plate. It really, it will. There's a bit of it that's not gonna. I thought that'd snap off. Um, yeah. So there's that, and obviously there where it should lock into, it's all completely missing. So there'd just be no suction, um, which is probably why they got rid of it. If I'm honest. Actually, it came from a house clearance. It was probably why it was stopped being used many years ago. They probably ran out of bags and then they put the gene in it there. And then um, when that stopped picking up because the gene got clogged and because the base plate was missing, it was probably resorted to the garage or the cupboard or something. Um, so it is a total system, but there's nothing on it. It's an 03 model, so it's budget really because the pure power... Never mind the Turbo Power 2 and the 1000, the Pure Power was out when this was being sold. So where we'd have the air freshener on a better model, just blanked off with the Hoover logo. Um, no bag full indicator and the power switch is there. On all the other models, or most of them anyway, it was in the handle, but obviously it saves money having no electrics in the handle. Um, on the really early models, there'd be cord rewind button there, so they've just put a switch there instead. Um, yeah, and being a total system, you move that along to use the tools. And I'll show you the tool suction, it was never good on these anyway. <laughs> that is pretty pup. Rubbish, really. No suction there at all. I mean, the juniors, honestly, they had better suction with the pan converter. No, it wasn't a pan converter on the juniors. No, it was a plug-in at the front. Well, it was better anyway. Um, it's missing all the tools, unfortunately, but they're not that great or rare. So I can easily find dusting brush, upholstery tool, and a crevice tool. Crevice tool goes there. That's what those little dinky things are to keep it in position. Don't know what's gone here, there's been several holes drilled, it's a bit battered there unfortunately. It should have a red blanking piece where the bottom cord hook would be, but on this model it was blanked off, again trying to save money. But I've got a few spare bottom cord hooks and I can fit one here instead of just another blanking piece, which will be good, so it'll have two cord hooks. It'll be black though, so it, it should be red, but it doesn't matter because the wheels are black and, every, well, the hose is grey. Is it grey or black, the wheels? The black. Um. Yeah, we'll get it looking all right, basically. A few paint scuffs there. Have another look in here just to show you quickly. Um, you can read that if you want. Use only genuine Hoover bags. The use of imitation bags can reduce cleaning efficiency and may invalidate any warranty cover when you buy replacement bags. Look for genuine Hoover packs with the code of H4. There's another one there, which I can't read. Well, actually, I can. I can't be bothered, I should say. So if you want to read that, pause. You can see the moulding where the air freshener was there, that's what that should be, air freshener should be there and there should be a little switch there. So yeah, um, we'll have a look at the make and model, well we know the make, we'll have a look at the model. Now I said this one is from 2003 
I think it is, but I've not read this serial number thing. I just know this is when they stopped making this model. So we've got a Hoover model, U1060, which is, I think, what I said. Double insulated, BAB approved, which stands for British Electrotechnical Approvals Board. Serial number U1060971500048, made in EC, but it'd be made in Britain. Um, 220, 240 volts, 50 hertz, f hertz, 50 hertz even, S five, oh, what's the wattage, 630 watts, no, it's 600, the maximum is 670 watts, that's the maximum, so it's quite powerful for a dirty fan cleaner, which is what the um, turbo powers are, the turbo power ones that is. So it's actually going above the rated 600, which is on the cover. But they probably just want a clean number like that, 600 instead of 670. And what they used to do, it's quite funny really, because I wouldn't have bothered even putting that there. They used to put all the features here on some of the cleaners. And some of the really good ones back in the day that had everything on, had a big sticker there, a big sales sticker saying what they could do. And then others just had a few bullet points with what they could do. This has just got one, and that's just 600. So Hoover, you know, they're, they're putting the points across that it's a budget model. Um, the base, the base plate, the bumper's coming out, so I hope nothing's cracked there. I've not had it apart yet to look. But um, no, recently um, another collector gave me a spare base plate, which is very nice of them. It's got a crack in it, like, but well, a bit of Gorilla Glue or epoxy or something, and I'll sort the little crack out. And that can go on the bottom of it then, then it'll have an alright base plate, so it can be used. And like I said, it's a total system model. I've never actually done it, but I'm sure, just really out of interest, I want to know whether the pan converters can fit on the bottom of there and you can use the old turbo power tools, but I'm sure you can. And that's it really, I've nothing else to show you. I won't bother sweeping it round the floor, partly because there's no bag in it, partly because there's no base plate, so yeah. It's starting to rain. Not very good, is it? Glad I didn't do this one outside. So yeah, there is my 2003 Hoover Turbo Power one, one of the very last, well whether this one is one of the actual very last, but I know this model was stopped in 2003. Yeah, um, don't think there's anything else to show you, really. So thank you for watching this video and I shall see you next time, bye for now.